In Seminole County tonight, investigators are poring over shell casings and a wrecked car trying to figure out what led to a deadly shooting there early this morning. This was at Carrington Park Condos along Caper Lane. Officers say they found a dead person and other evidence of violence at the scene. New Six's Brian Didlake has the latest on the investigation there. Uh, Councilberry police say that this is an ongoing and in progress investigation as they're only giving a few details at this time. We did speak to one couple, however, whose vehicle got hit during this deadly altercation. When forensics came, they asked me to take the bumper off um, and I did and they found the bullet inside the bumper. Harlem Jimenez says it was Councilberry police who removed a bullet from his vehicle's bumper. Police say an unknown shooter shot and killed a person at the Carrington Park condominiums early Saturday morning. Jimenez, standing with Laura Antal, says the pair was away at the time of the shooting, but says they were alerted something happened when Jimenez woke up to a text. One of my neighbors texted me about 5.30. He was like, hey, are you okay? So I was like, yeah, why? And he was like, oh, somebody just emptied the gun clip on, on somebody. And Tall says that's when they rushed over only to find police still investigating. We rolled up and the tapes were still up. There are cops everywhere. The entire uh, parking lot was blocked off. Mm -hmm. People were looking. We were looking. As they were looking, Antal says she saw their vehicle wasn't the only one hit by a bullet. At least two other vehicles showed signs of damage. One vehicle's back window now covered with plastic after being shot out. Castleberry police say they believe this shooting happened after an altercation between two people who knew each other. For Jimenez and Antal, the couple points to a separate incident that occurred about seven months ago in the same complex, a triple murder-suicide where a man killed his wife, mother-in-law, and stepson. That seen only a few feet away from the incident that put a bullet hole in Jimenez's vehicle. The couple says with both incidents, it's pushing them out of the Castleberry complex. Uh, a little nervous, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, ready to leave, ready to leave for sure. Yeah, we're, we're out of here. <laughs> yeah. It was a good closing, a good you know, good one last push to get out. And we are still waiting to hear back from Castleberry police to learn more information like who was the person killed and if there's any suspect information. Once we hear back, we'll get back to you on air and online. But for now, we are in Castleberry. Brian Ditlake getting results. News 6.